Four-year-old Jackson Betchart has always harbored a deep love for animals. Since birth, his family has been home to at least three rescue dogs. And Jackson has cherished and respected each furry companion. Currently, his family shares their home with four rescue dogs and two rescue cats. And Jackson has a harmonious relationship with all of them. Among the pets, Geo, a dog known for its calm demeanor, holds a special place in Jackson's heart. Despite the diverse breeds and personalities among the dogs in their household, Jackson has yet to own his favorite, pit bulls. According to Jackson's mom, Elise Betchart, over the past year, he has developed a keen awareness of his preference for pit bulls. Animal advocacy is a significant part of the Betchart family's life. Involving activities such as adopting, volunteering, sponsoring, and educating others about animals. Jackson's passion extends to frequent visits to animal shelters, which he charmingly refers to as, cute factories. Whenever he and Elise have free time, they make their way to local animal shelters. There, Jackson showers love on the waiting cats and dogs, expressing well wishes for their future adoptions. He understands that people relinquish their pets for various reasons and makes it his mission to convey love to every dog and cat he encounters. One day, during a drive, Elise had the idea of taking Jackson to the Charleston Animal Society, CAS. A shelter he had never visited before. As Jackson greeted all the animals, a pit bull named Penelope captured his attention. Instantly smitten. Jackson expressed a desire to adopt her, affectionately naming her spot due to the distinctive spots on her head. Unfortunately, they couldn't proceed with adopting Penelope due to the restrictions in military base housing, where pit bulls are not allowed. Instead, Elise explained to Jackson that they could still assist Penelope in another way by sponsoring her adoption through the Charleston Animal Society's Guardian Angel Program. This program allows individuals to sponsor all or a part of an animal's adoption fee. Upon learning about this option, Jackson enthusiastically agreed to participate. He even mentioned that he had money at home to pay for Penelope. Or as he affectionately called her. Spot. Elise offered to loan him the money for Penelope's adoption. As they were leaving the dog room, Jackson noticed another pit bull named Tank, a large gray puppy. Once again, Jackson fell in love, expressing his desire to adopt Tank so they could play Incredible Hulk together. Elise explained that they couldn't adopt Tank either but suggested that Jackson could sponsor him too. Undeterred, Jackson proudly walked out of the dog room and informed the shelter staff that he would be an angel for both Penelope and Tank. The staff took pictures of Jackson with the two dogs and he officially became their guardian angel. The pictures were posted on Facebook, and the heartwarming story quickly went viral. Numerous people expressed interest in helping find homes for these animals. Due to Jackson's generous act, both Tank and Penelope were swiftly adopted. Inspired by the four-year-old's compassion, the shelter received an influx of sponsorships and even witnessed several adoptions. It's remarkable that at such a young age, Jackson already possesses love and empathy for animals. Credit goes to Elise for instilling in her son the importance of compassion for other living beings and teaching him that animals deserve a family and a home just like humans. Dogs and wolves belong to the same family. So people sometimes mistake wolves for dogs. However, this error is sometimes more serious than expected. A woman spent a long time raising a puppy, but found it was a wolf finally. Look all the way in the video. Let's see what the wolf did a year later. It will subvert our first impression of it. In a Siberian village where it often snows, there lived an old lady who lived alone. She has no friends or living relatives. People in this village used to open their doors and welcome any stranger as a guest. This old lady is no exception. Although she is quite shy, 
she likes to entertain guests. One day, three men came to this old woman's house. The old lady's house is the closest to the forest. She played the role of host very well and provided them with warmth and food. The old woman didn't know that these three men had three puppies. They didn't want to abandon these three puppies in the cold wild. So they saved them. However, when they realized how lonely the old woman was, they decided to give her a present. That's their youngest dog. After saying goodbye to these three men, the old woman was surprised to find a puppy at the door of her house. She was sad when she thought this little dog was abandoned. Days passed and no one came to adopt it. Finally the old woman decided to raise it. The old woman didn't realize it was a wolf. As time goes by, the bond between her and the wolf grows stronger. When the night is cold, the wolf sleeps in the room. It hangs out after dawn. Although the wolf is very gentle with its owner, it has the spirit of its ancestors. Whenever it sees chickens or other creatures with wings, it can't control itself and goes after them. This made the old woman feel uneasy. The wolf would do it when she did not look at it. However, the wolf never hurt the old woman, nor would it howl around her. The old woman named it Vachak. Rumors circulated in the village that a gang of criminals was roaming the neighborhood. Villagers were so frightened that they locked their doors. Unfortunately, the old woman did not know the news. She left the door unlocked as usual. She opened the door as soon as she heard a knock. The criminals look at this old woman and had an idea. They saw the old woman alone and thought she was alone. So they wanted to occupy her house. However, they didn't realize that the old woman was not alone. There is actually a wolf protecting her. After a man took out a knife, the wolf was not afraid at all. The criminals knew they were no match for it and escaped. The police successfully captured and punished criminals. This incident changed people's impression of Wachak and it still loved its owner. Since then, the wolf and the old woman lived happily together. This story has a very unbelievable ending. I saw this story online and I'm not sure if it's true. Let's read the next story. The next story is absolutely true. It's about a family that domesticates a wolf. The wolf has been living in a Russian family. Ivan and his daughter have several furry animals in their apartment the most famous one is their wolf, Sai. They have been raising it since 2017. The wolf is very obedient now. It can even turn lights on and off by itself. When Ivan saw this wolf cub for the first time, he knew that he would raise this cub. But he had two hounds. He knew it's not easy to raise wolves. Especially keeping them with dogs. But he's prepared well. Alexander participated in the training program for raising this wolf. Ivan said frankly that the only thing he is worried about now is taking it for a walk. Sai is no longer a wolf cub now. Its size and energy reserves are larger. So walking with it is pretty tiring. It's a wild animal so city life doesn't match its nature. They take it for two walks a day. Which is a big challenge for them. They never give up because this wolf is their family member. Everyone who knows them knows they love this wolf. The next story is similar to the one about the old Siberian woman. A female wolf abandoned her pups when they are three months old. Amazingly, one person saved these pups. This story is about Alida and Kira. The special relationship between them has touched many netizens. A domesticated wolf gave birth to several pups. Unfortunately, it abandoned them. A wolf pup named Kira was brought to the shelter. This cub is cared for and well nourished here, then it grew up. The shelter workers did their best to take care of cubs. Although the cub is only a few days old, its life is tough because it loses its mother and home. At this time, Alida, a broad-minded woman, met Kira. 
Alida knows that returning Kira into the wild is obviously inappropriate because it is too young to hunt. It doesn't have any life skills. Kira can only be fed at this time. Alida said, I'm going to raise it until it is strong enough. For the first time I gave it milk. Kira is only a few weeks old and has a tense relationship with its biological mother. So it has trust issues. Alida regards helping Kira overcome this problem as her mission. She socialized it. It includes meeting a variety of creatures. Such as dogs, people and children. Although the wolf is afraid of new things. With Alida's support. Kira overcomes this fear. Alida is very proud of Kira's progress in growth and maturity. Kira has a stable and gentle mind. It does not attack other dogs. Nor does it conflict with them. Although wolves are considered dangerous. Kira was successfully domesticated. Any dog has curiosity. Are you surprised to hear that people live with gentle wolves? It sounds like a dream. That wolf is more like a dog. The next story is about a kind wolf. A woman from West Yorkshire claims her wolf dog is unique because of its gentle disposition. Sylvia Alpha is a young woman. She often takes walks with Sasha. Her Czechoslovakian wolf dog, since Sylvia knew about wolf dogs when she was 13 years old. Raising a wolf dog has become her dream. She likes exotic animals. But Huskies and German Shepherd dogs are not in her consideration. There are two types of wolf dogs that can be adopted in the UK. They are the American Bully Pitbull and the Czechoslovakia Wolf Dog. Sylvia was more interested in the latter because it had a reputation for being easygoing. Sasha is a hybrid of a German Shepherd dog and a Carpathian Timber Wolf. It's the rarest wolf dog in the UK. Although its ancestors are wolves. Sasha is pretty shy. Sometimes they even flinch in front of the cat. Sasha will try to protect its owner if her owner is in trouble. She said that her pets have enriched her life in the same way that dogs are to other people. In another story. When Sophie decides to adopt a dog. She doesn't realize that her stray dog's ancestors are wolves. On TikTok. One user likes to share videos of her pets. She has two beautiful huskies. But people are more curious about Oleg, her wolf dog. In a video. She said. This dog is 80% wolf. 10% German Shepherd dog and 10% Alaskan Malamute. This wolf dog has more wolf lineage than the Czechoslovakia wolf dog of Sylvia. Although wolf dogs are very intelligent. Their owners warn that it's hard to raise them. By the way, wolf dogs are very shy and timid. Unlike wolves. They are not born brave. Another reason people love wolf dogs is that it's cool to have an animal that looks like a wolf. I totally agree with that. But the domesticated wolf is still a wolf. Please think twice when you want to keep this pet.